Hello everybody, Kevin Davis again from Social Traffic Lab and this time we're actually looking at <coughs> Google Analytics for Social Traffic Lab and this is the new interface for Google Analytics and one of the things I noticed under audience was social. Um, it may have been here before, I just have never seen it um, and I have seen some news uh, articles I've been posting in the Facebook group as far as uh, some changes happening in the new interface as well as social engagement being really at the top of their their game so um, so it's under audience <coughs> and then under engage under uh, social you can then see um, here it, it identifies the number of socially not socially engaged and those that are socially engaged um, socially engaged is uh, it's people that are using the buttons, the social buttons that are appearing on your pages or on your blog post. Um, we haven't had um, a lot of those uh, buttons actually on the post, so we haven't really had a lot of social engagement on Social Traffic Lab, which is kind of uh, ironic. Um, but if we look at the engagement, <coughs> it then tells us um, how many were, and then you can look at the number of pages that they visited. Um, we can see that the two people that were socially engaged viewed 24 pages instead of 1.97 on average, and they spent 24 hours on the site rather than uh, three minutes. Um, so that's, uh, and the bounce rate was zero uh, because of all those page visits, uh, whereas at 63.54% uh, on average for the rest of the audience. Um, <coughs> so we can see that they're more engaged on the site um, as well. We can also look at the actions they, they take uh, by clicking on action. So we can see the Facebook shares. We have eight. Uh, add to any uh, delicious is one. Add to any uh, Evernote is one as well. <coughs> and I believe um, we had, well, there's eight interactions today. Uh, which is actually uh, new. I just added some different things um, on the post today. So those are just happening today. If we look at pages, we can then see where those actions were, were also. Um, here we can see the Facebook share, we can see the add to any, and we can see the add uh, to any over Evernote and delicious. Um, so this is actually tracking engagement on this case with our uh, contest uh, burner giveaway. Um, that's what this is. This is a person's profile and they're sending traffic back to that. So that's, uh, that's cool to be able to see that. The other thing I wanted to talk about was <coughs> advanced segments. So um, that's it for the social section that I mentioned in the earlier video. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually create an advanced segment. So up here on the drop down list is advanced segment. So you can actually you can filter the data based on these different segments. We have search traffic, direct traffic, referral traffic, uh, visits with conversions, visits with transactions. Look at only mobile traffic, but there isn't a social media traffic here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new custom segment by clicking on new custom segment. We are then going to um, we're going to name this social media. And let me pause this a second while I figure this. Okay, we're back recording. Um, I did figure they changed this interface a bit also. So um, we're going to include, you can either include or exclude. <coughs> so we're in, going to include um, data where the source contains or is exactly matching. So we can do exactly matching It'll actually load up the different sources, or it's supposed to. So we can say facebook.com. And we can add an or. 
And let's see, it's going to be source again. And it's going to be exactly matching uh, the mobile Facebook. And we'll add another or source exactly matching. Let's see if Twitter shows up. We'll add it. Twitter.com. And source. Uh, we can see there's a referral from Shell. Let's say YouTube. So there's the mobile YouTube. And you could also, instead of putting exactly matching, you could just say con uh, containing. And we could just say, well, if we say containing YouTube.com, that's actually going to be just the mobile. And so like with this one where we have uh, exactly m.facebook.com, we can get rid of that. And we can say containing facebook.com as well. We can then, uh, if we didn't want to add anything else, we can then preview the segment. We test segment. It's loading. This interface is brand new, so I've been having problems getting into it. So if you do have a problem getting into it, you might need to switch browsers. So actually, let's do this. Let's save this segment. So now the segment is saved. We've selected it already. If we then go to content, okay, now the test came back. So Facebook matched 322 visits. YouTube matched 236 visits. Out of a total of uh, 9,746, the segment matches this. So now if we look at uh, demographics, we can look at a location. So it's going to be limited to uh, social media. We can see where that social media hits are coming from. Um, and this is where our traffic is coming from by country. If we looked at what content, um, if we look at pages, we can see what pages those uh, social media visits actually came into. So again, we're still filtered to social media, <clears throat> which social media was 6.46% page views. Um, and it gives you the total versus the segment on each of these different stats here. The graph is based on that segment only. It's not based on um, the overall. And then it shows you the pages of where they came into as well. And they can also show it by page title if, uh, if that's more meaningful to you. Um, and you can add other things of filtering in that, in that as well. So what this does is it adds the filtering. If we want to get rid of that, we just go back up here and we get rid of uh, the social media segment, apply, and we're back to all of our normal page views. So Segmenting is a great way to actually look at uh, different views of your analytics data. <clears throat> and you can actually use this in conjunction with the URL builder that I mentioned in the previous video to then segment uh, your campaigns across your social media accounts. Thanks a lot.